Hello everyone, this is Emu and today we will be reviewing One Piece chapter 1043 We die together And where do I start? Where do I start? This is one hell of a chapter One hell of a chapter Oda producing two 10 out of 10 chapters in a row Where do I start? This is honestly one of the best chapters in Onigashima and has an, a mind-blowing ending first of all the spoilers for this chapter were going insane all over the internet like it's the first time that I've ever seen just the the last panel of this chapter was I saw three colored versions of them last Tuesday this chapter is so wild that it broke the internet before even going out and if, at first let's address the cover page where we see that Oven and Brule are, are at Holkick Island and I don't know how Judge is going to help free his sons because they're now deep into Toto land but it's going to be interesting and I can't wait to, to talk on the uh, on the chapter so let's get right into it at first we see the continuation of the last thing that we we saw last chapter where Luffy and Kaido were about to exchange blows but CP0 stopped Luffy by holding his shoulder and distracting him then Kaido landing a fatal blow onto Luffy and it's so powerful that the whole Onigashima has has shook from the from the attack. Then Luffy goes out of gear fourth and and Momonosuke says that Luffy's voice is gone. And the narrator says that the victor of this battle is Kaido of the Beast. And Kaido is very, very pissed off for CP0 on what he's uh, what he has done. And CP0 has is just standing there waiting for his feet and we see Kaido attacking the CP0 member and then it cuts to a large blow and let's just say rest in peace to the, to the CP0 member then we see the other C CP0 member who, who hadn't moved from his place as if he knew that um, that the other guy is gone right now he understood what happened as he is the one who told him the order, I think, to go, to go and eliminate Mugiwara no Luffy. Now we see Kawamatsu telling the samurai there is no honor in, in, in dying while burning alive. Then we see Kaido attack the live floor where all the fire has been and states that Straw Hat Luffy has died. And we see the reactions of Kid and Lo and Chopper who are all very frightened of Kaido and his subordinates as they have no strength left and we see Nami say that that this oversized snake is a liar and Luffy can't have lost and he's not dead, that's impossible and some people believe and theorize that that maybe some of the straw hats will go and fight Kaido and stall him for a bit we have some straw hats who can fight like Jimbe, Brook, Frankie, possibly Nami but Nami just has Zeus for attacks and possibly Sanji, we haven't seen Sanji for about 5-6 chapters so he could have recovered and he could be up now so Sanji could maybe Zoro we don't know but because but Zoro was almost dead just like Luffy in this beginning of the chapter so and I don't think he will take the magic magic healing juice again because that will be too much maybe Oda will find out, out a way to make him go up again and command the Straw Hats to fight Kaido but it would have to be a really good reason and as Kaido tries to attack Nami Marco comes and defends her and Kaido says he won't stop the killing until Momonosuke has given up and Momonosuke actually thinks and wanted to give up so that he could help the rest of the samurai to continue living but Yamato gives him a really good speech about if they continue living they'll just die from exhaustion from a lot of the work as Kaido said in this chapter he will be even more harsher than Orochi that all the women and children will also work day and night until until they are dead and she gives a really good speech that in conclusion 
we we will die fighting and we will even if we all die together and it really inspires Momonosuke and then the chapter cuts to Luffy where it zooms in at him then we see Zonisha telling Momonosuke I can hear it it really takes me back I can hear the drums of liberation this is the first time in 800 years he is here without a doubt Joy Boy has returned and we see a panel of Luffy smiling and possibly his devil fruit has been awakened with a sound effect grin which if translated to Japanese it could be called Nika uh, This is me while editing and I have understood through Twitter that there was signs in the beginning and the end of the chapter that I did not understand and through Twitter I understood that these meant at the beginning of the chapter that Luffy's heartbeat has stopped working and at the end of the chapter it means that Luffy's heartbeat has started working again and what a hell of an ending and this this panel of Luffy was all over the internet uh, and even colored versions of it was all over the internet and One Piece was literally trending for the spoilers because of this ending and it's one hell of an ending unfortunately we have a break next week but there are a lot of theories that that Luffy's fruit is the one that uh, Gorosei was talking about and this panel hinting that that the sound effect saying Nika some people say that it could be the Nika Nika no Mi which, which could be something I'm not sure I'm not sure uh, this is all thing uh, all things I heard on the internet that that n the Nika Nika no Mi could be something related to rubber in the substance substance that make rubber but what I think is, if it's this fruit that the girl says, it's possibly it was Joy Boy's fruit, possibly the first devil fruit that was ever made, possibly. That's why it's very important, and its awakening is very strong, and only a few little people could have awakened it, and that's why the girl say punished who's who really hard for for losing the fruit while he was while he was transporting it but this could go all wrong if if joy boy is the one controlling luffy and luffy and joy boy is the one who's going to finish the fight against kaido this would be really bad but it could be really good if luffy had awakened his fruit and he will continue the fight with kaido but if joy boy is the one who continued the fight that would be mm, yeah, not good. That won't be any good, to be honest. What confuses me a lot is what's the difference between now and and the last time Zunisha has seen Luffy? As Zunisha has met Luffy before, but it didn't say this about Luffy. It didn't say Joy Boy has returned. So it confuses me a lot. What what happened? I believe that it inherited will. Luffy has inherited Joy Boy's will. As Luffy himself said that he doesn't want to be uh, someone important or someone... He just wants to be the Pirate King. <laughs> so I, I believe he shares the same dream with Joy Boy and Roger but as inherited will. But I really, really hope that that Lu that Luffy that Joy Boy isn't the one controlling Luffy right now so that would be really really bad in my opinion overall this is a 10 out of 10 chapter two 10 out of 10 chapters in a row Onigashima has been crazy this is Emu and if you like this video please like and subscribe as it really helps me out a lot